When a person comes to my clinic um, for assessment of their hormones, uh, I, they must have a, a hormone test or a hormone assessment first. And what that will do was t will tell me what their baseline levels are of all the key hormones. So if it's a woman, we're looking at estrogen and progesterone and testosterone, DHEA, pregnenolone, I would include vitamin D because really it's a hormone, not a vitamin. Uh, and in addition to that, we do look at uh, cholesterol levels because it's important in the context of hormones. Um, and part and parcel of the hormone panel is also looking at uh, cardiovascular risk. We look for markers of inflammation. It, in addition to the hormones, it gives me a lot of useful information about the person's physiology. Once I know what certain levels are, if certain levels are deficient, then restoring those levels often will cause lots of positive physiological benefits. Yeah. The, uh, the, the timing of when to do the panel will, in men, it, it doesn't matter. They can do the, the, the hormone panel at any time. But in women, if they are still having regular uh, menstrual cycles, then it's important to get the timing of that right. And usually, we'll advise a woman to do that between day 19 and 21 of her cycle, assuming she has a 28-day cycle. If the woman is already menopausal and, not, and her hormones aren't cycling, then they can do the test at any time. If her cycle is not regular? If her cycle is not regular, then we'll advise her on the appropriate timing to do the test panel.